Hello, author, and today I'm in Sydney with Jono, uh, who is one of our authors, author of the Bootcamp Blueprint. Uh, Jono, uh, thank you for talking to our audience, but also I'm super excited and grateful that you always come back to catch up and help out here. And um, I know you were in this room, what, just a bit over 12 months ago, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and um, so why did you come into the room? What was this idea about you writing a book? Ah, good question. So I'm a huge reader myself. Yeah. I love reading myself. Yeah. And I felt that's helped me in life. Yeah. You know, the position that I'm in now is because I've read a lot of books from, and I've learned a lot from people that have written books. Yeah. And that motivated me to write a book. Yeah. Because there wasn't a book like that out there. Yeah. Everything that I had to learn over the years, I took a little bit from this person and a little bit from that person and a little bit from that person. Yeah. And from learning all those little different things, yeah. I was able to run a, a successful boot camp business. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there was a book that somebody could get everything yeah. without having to read all those other books? If they were like, if I could make that path shorter for them. Digest it all down. Yeah, digest yeah. it all at one. That's that's what motivated me to do it. And I thought, hey, it's something that's not out there. I can help a lot of people with this book here. Yeah. And I also feel that'll be my little place in the world. If I can, you know, live my life and say I wrote a book that helped people uh, grow their boot camp, I'd be happy. Awesome. So it's about living a legacy as well and, um, yeah, giving people the shortcuts. And also part of the reason originally when you told me is uh, to get people also to find out who you are oh, yes. and also to per perhaps do the deeper work through your online courses and things like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. No, you go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say also, so I, I run a lot of online courses. Yep. And those online courses are roughly about $500. Yep. And sometimes that can be a big jump for someone, right? Yeah. If it's like, okay, you know, I don't know too much about this person and they want to give me 500 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, some people do. But some yeah. people are like, hold on, you know, isn't, can I find out a little bit yeah. more about you? And I thought the book would be a cool way as well. Hey, he's, he's talking. Yeah, he's twenty three bucks. Yeah, we, we, we even just read it. It's yeah. Okay, he's got a book. He must know a thing or two. Yes. But also, they can read that book. You know what? I like this guy's theories. Mm. Uh, he knows a thing or two. I might do this online course. Yeah, I love it. That was my whole reason when I wrote my first book. Is like people would take me seriously mm. um, and actually think that I was serious about what I was doing because I was so new in business as well. Um, I know you have it had the online courses before the book. Uh, but it's really cool uh, to set up at the top of your funnel, isn't it? So to build that trust. Yes, and I can, did you want me to add to that as well? Go on. Yeah, so I, I thought a little bit about that beforehand, yep. but not a huge amount. Yeah. But that was probably one of the biggest benefits afterwards. Mm -hmm. Where when I posted that book, I felt like my whole social media was like, okay, hold on. This guy's not just mucking around having some fun. Yeah. He wrote a book. Yeah. He's serious about it. About what he's doing I might follow this person or I might uh, talk to this person so did the following increase following look I, I, it's hard to track that yeah because it could be from many different things exactly but what I found was I was more respected in that following got it so there were people more that you know I would follow them and it would be a little bit more me following them because they were positioned higher mm -hmm. but then after writing the book it was almost like hey I'm positioned higher yeah, nice one. Yeah, 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 and you're right. You know, you never know. We do so much yeah. uh, that you don't know where things are happening. But as long as you, you're putting things out there and building the visibility and the awareness, you know, people come up to you and then you get interviews out of nowhere. And uh, you this know, one, right? yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you get to rub shoulders, yeah, with more influential people who have got bigger following, and then you get followers from that and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, what is the book about? Maybe if there's people who are in your target. Yeah market you know watching this um how could they benefit from it what does it contain yes um very simple yeah it's for personal trainers yeah who want to make six figures a year working 60 minutes a day yeah and the way they do that is via boot camp nice. because obviously if we do those rough calculations it's about two thousand dollars a week yep which is how good's your maths how much is that a day <laughs> <laughs> well if you so what is it 2k uh, a week one thousand five hundred roughly no, it is two. 
times 52. Sorry, yes. <laughs> so say, I don't know, it's probably $400 yeah. a, a day sort of thing. Yep. If you're doing that in personal training one hour a day, it's pretty hard to charge yes. $400 an hour for a personal training session. But if you've got a group of people Spot and on. they were paying their boot camp attendance. Spot on. Yeah. It's this very simple formula, actually. Yes. It's um, You would charge $50 a week Yes. to your clients. Mm -hmm. You would get 40 clients. Yes. That's $2,000 a week. So essentially what that book teaches is how? number one, how can you get 40 clients? Because it works well in theory, right? Yeah, yes. just go out and get 40 yeah. clients and charge 50 bucks a week. Yeah. But how do you get those 40 clients? Yes. In the book there. And also, how do you charge $50 a week? Hey, well, that's all in the book there. Love it. It's all about the packaging, bundling, creating amazing boot camps, getting people to resign, all that kind of stuff, isn't it? Correct. All those secrets behind it. I know because I've got a sim similar challenge being here in Sydney and going into state and other places. We also need bums on seats. And same thing in a boot camp, it's kind of bums, bums on, on seats, seats yeah. as well. Um, and that is the toughest bit. The numbers all add up, but yeah, getting the people is where okay. the book really will, would help us. Um, a personal trainer really build that up and not have to work so hard. Exactly, and even on the personal trainer side of you. Yeah. So from a person, you can be the best boot camp instructor yeah. in the world. If no one knows about you, yeah. you're sitting alone in the park doing push-ups. Yes. So you need to know how to market yourself. Same here, right? You yes. could be the best author in the world, yes. the best helping other people. Yes. If no one knows that, no one's coming down. So it's exactly. not just good enough to be good at what you do. Yes. You've got to know how to get yourself out there. So you cover off how to increase your visibility and some of those things as well in here. Perfect. I love it. So what is happening now? I mean, you touched on it just a little bit earlier mm -hmm. about the things that are happening, but what has happened as a result of the book coming out? So the book, just to let you guys know, Jono was at the August retreat last year and it came out, what, December? Or yes, about December. December. So we always say December. four or five months after the retreat is about a reasonable time frame. And then um, uh, basically now you've had, so we're August now, so we've had 12 months um, after your retreat. So you've had your book eight months. Yeah? Yes, about yeah. that. So there you go. So we've calculated that bit. <laughs> so what's happening now? What's happened in the last eight months? Oh, so much to, to list. So let me think of where to start. Um, <laughs> Okay, so doing, I'm just gonna cover everything, go, right? Go. Because there's, there's a lot going on. So, and um, it's hard to track everything, right? So not saying it's 100%, hey, I got the book and, yeah. and this happened, but of course. as a result of, of one of the things there, so where does it come along with you, right? What's that like, where does it come along with you? Because the book sometimes is not just the whole reason you get an opportunity, but when it comes along to you, I think I, I've seen you speak in New Zealand. Yes, so and, that, yeah, go on. So um, two things there. So a lot more speaking. Yes. So my own events. Yes. I now run and speak at. Yes. I also speak at other events. Yes. So I was at New Zealand earlier in the year. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand, I'm going to go again in. December. Yes. That's how I remember when the book came out in New Zealand in December. And I'm actually up for an award Excellent. in that uh, conference there as well for yep. the best educator in for personal trainers in New Zealand. Nice. Yep. Which is pretty cool because I'm not even in New Zealand. <laughs> um, but I obviously do some business yes. there, sold a lot of books in New Zealand, yes. sold some courses in New Zealand. Yes. Um, apart from that, that's probably, oh, and just a lot more networking, I'd say. Yes. So now I'm getting asked to be on a lot of podcasts, I'm getting yes. asked to be on a lot of Facebook lives, I'm yes. you know, getting asked to meet up with people at events, and I think that would be the biggest thing from the book, Yes. because it's okay, like I've always been doing business, yeah. but I feel like you have a book there, all of a sudden you're a lot more respected, yeah. and that's what a lot of people will ask me, you know, mm -hmm. so I'll go and do this, hey I saw you wrote a book, how was the book? Yes. And I'm sort of like, yeah it's good, but there's yeah. other things as well, you know, yeah. I want to talk about my whole business, but I feel the book is just... It's There's a, always a question there. It's a question. It. I think that's what impresses people because every second person has an online course these days. Yes. You know, every second person runs their own workshop these days. Yes. You know, they may be good, they may not be yes. good, but very few people have a book. Yes. So it's something that interests there. So, I love what you've just said because as much as maybe we hear a lot around Australia and America that people are writing books, uh, there's actually, in my experience, because I help people do yeah, it and yeah. I go around, I, I see... Uh, that not too many back themselves. They might be talking about writing a book yeah. or have been doing it for five to ten years. Yeah. But actually, when you really dig deep, um, you know, it's, it's 
still the percentages of people doing it and following through are low. So you're still I'm, unique, don't 100%, think. hundred percent. Yeah. I'll give a few yeah. examples on that. Yeah. So I'm in the, I guess you'd say entrepreneurial space. Yeah. And a lot of people have e-books, you know? Yeah, e e-book. <laughs> Can't but, I just write an e-book? An e-book, an e-book oh, gee, my first e-book, yeah. Like it was maybe ten years ago. Yeah. It was just a Microsoft Word document, yeah. and I saved it as a PDF. That's yeah. not it. Anyone can, can write an ebook there. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that will say, "Yeah, I've got an ebook," yeah. but there's a big difference yes. between an ebook and, a, and an actual book. Yeah. And then even I was um, even they, I was speaking to a girl on Tinder yeah. a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and she was like, "What do you?" I was like, "What do you do?" She's like, "I'm an author," and I was like, "Oh, yeah, me too. How many books have you authored?" She's like, oh, I'm still in the, the process of, of writing my yeah. first. It's been five years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was sort of like, all right, well, hold on. That person's an actual author. They're full time thing. It's taken them five years. Yeah. I've been able to knock it over in a couple months, of months or yeah. whatever yeah. it was, and I'm not even a full time author. Yeah. 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 I, I so know, that shows the people that say they're authors or writing books. Yeah. Big difference between the people that actually are. Yeah. Exactly right. So don't assume that people like, oh, everyone's doing it. How am I going to be any different? Just go and do it because I can tell you from my experience and you've now experienced it yeah. and I meet people who want to write books all the time. So yeah. I, I should be the one feeling like everyone's doing it, but it's not true, you guys. Like it takes a lot of courage and really backing in. If you can't get through this bit, the mindset um, key, which I talk about three different keys of, um, you know, what it takes to get to book success, which you're very successfully doing those, you know, first it was the mindset, then coming to do the structure and publishing without help, because I know you had worked a lot on your mindset even yeah. prior to us, because you do a lot of seminars and work on yourself, and the third key was SAP sales and marketing, which you had foundational stuff that you teach from here, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we taught you some of the book related stuff, awesome. Exactly. And that middle part was the key as well. How did you find the process then? Like, yeah, what, awesome. was it was did you feel going through the program was pretty smooth and you yeah. know, easy for you? For me, it was. Um, I was. I'm a hard worker, right? Yeah. And it was good because you had the you gave me that blueprint beforehand. Yeah. So I almost ripped the book before I even came to the retreat. Yeah. So the retreat was almost like, okay, cool. How can I fine tune this stuff yes. and make sure I tick all these boxes and. Yeah. So for me, it was, was super easy. Isn't that funny that what you just said, I almost wrote the book before I came to the retreat and yeah. really people treat the retreat as that's where I'm going to write the book. But the funny thing is when you commit into the program like this, yeah. um, the sheer fact that you've committed makes you get going. Yeah. Um, and because you want to get it fast and you want to get it out there and you, you know, you invested in yourself. So I find that as well. One of my August participants this August, there were two weeks time, yeah. she is already in a uh, second stage of editing oh, wow. so it's like you know um it's really interesting to see how much people action they take the minute they come into the process it's almost you need to be accountable to someone to get yeah. going rather than just sitting there trying to go i'll do this all by myself isn't it 100 percent. i've found that with uh with all the investments i've done yeah sometimes it just gives you the kick up the arse you, you know? just get going if you're going to pay um you know you've whatever, got skin in the game 100 if you're yeah. going to pay anything whether it's a thousand ten thousand twenty thousand yeah if you're going to pay that you don't want to lose your money no so you've got me anyway i'm, yeah. I'm like well i don't want to lose my money i better make sure i, I, get I want to first return. get the return on investment and then obviously move forward yeah 100 yeah. percent. so i'm like and i think there's two ways to look at it right yeah. you can either be like all right i'll sit back and do nothing mm -hmm. That's not going to get you a return on your investment. Yes. So I'm like, what can I do to guarantee that I get a return on exactly. investment? Okay, what can I do to be as prepared as possible for this retreat? Let me do all that beforehand. Yeah. And I found that would be my advice for someone looking to write yeah, a book. Nice. Do as much as you can beforehand. Yeah. And it's certainly going to help and you. And stay yourself. coachable. Oh, yeah. yes. Stay coachable, guys, because uh, if, if you just if make... If they it, haven't written a book before and it, you've helped written... Yeah. <laughs> you probably know a thing or two that they don't. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, very good advice. So where can people get your book? Uh, my website. Yeah, what's the www.fitnesseducationonline.com.au fitnesseducationonline.com.au We'll post that obviously in the comments. Cool, and you can and also get it on Amazon. Yep. I haven't pushed that yet, yep. but that's going to be my next step. Mm, Jono so. probably is going to go for number one Amazon bestseller. Correct. <laughs> Which is really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Good luck with all the future things. I mean, I know this journey with your book only just has begun. I think eight months in is nothing. I know because now I'm nine years in after my first book and it becomes a bit addictive. Uh, uh, but this is so wonderful and I love seeing all your you know, travels and we're so grateful to always help have you back to inspire the new budding authors because it's a 
tough decision, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, Jonah Petrahilis from the Bootcamp Blueprint. <laughs>